May I? Yeah, please do. <laughs> That's got a bit of history, this one. And that once belonged to Major General George Armstrong Custer. George Armstrong Custer. Fashion plate, headline chaser, leader of one of the most infamous cavalry charges in history. George tells me he recently bought the sword at auction for a whopping $30,000. He wanted it so badly, he cashed in his retirement savings to get it. This was Cust one, of Custer's, was one of Custer's swords, yes. Letters that came with the German-made saber indicate that Custer gave the weapon to his eldest brother, Nevin, prior to Custer's death at the Battle of Little Bighorn. You don't mess with me, are you? No, no, not at all. Well documented. I'm the eighth owner. I don't exactly know what to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, I'm actually, I'm sweating a little bit because yeah. it just, as soon as you said that, I'm like, there, no. Well, you're a fencer, so you like swords, and I thought you might like that piece. So Custer was a rock star. Yeah, of course he was. He was your first rock star. When you get to touch this, and you're like, I, it just, it's like a time machine. <laughs> it, does that sound stupid? No, no, because it actually takes you there. But just to say that his hand was here. His hand was on it. And our hand was, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. You know, I got to give it back to you, man, or I'll just. I know. Don't you love it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, too.